Hi there. If you are watching this, you probably have noticed that the videos on this Let's Play channel are very, very low. Please help support this YouTube channel by sharing this video as well as other videos on this Let's Play channel. I really want to be able to be noticed with the Let's Play channel, so doing Let's Plays is more enjoyable for me. And also take note that from the time that I am recording this, episodes all the way up until episode 4 have already been recorded, but I have not edited those yet. If this episode gets 100 views, that will encourage me to do the others, and if I am able to get up to episode 4 as far as the views are concerned, I may continue this Let's Play. So if you can, please help to spread the news about this Let's Play channel, because I really want to be able to get a lot more views and a lot more commenters on this channel, instead of just one or two views every so often. Hey there guys, and welcome to the second episode of Jiggy's of Time. Um, I may not uh, talk as much because my voice is kind of worn down. I am actually recording this very soon after the last episode, so I may rest my voice a couple of times. But anyway, first, I've just now found out how you get this Jinjo at the top of this stump over here. Or this platform right here. Okay, so we got four out of five Jinjos. That's fantastic. Let's enter this shop right here, which I'm pretty sure does have you lose your notes. At least it did in one of the early demos. So, just in case, gonna save state. Okay, well, I don't think that you do lose your notes from, uh, entering here. Oh, that's quite clever. You'll, you'll notice that the music actually has changed. Yep. Hello, Gruntilda. I'll, I'll just go ahead and let you read this. Okay, well, yeah, Brentilda is actually added in here, like, she gives you assistance, although, rather than giving you, like, the answers to a quiz question, I'm trying to get to the back, like, can I even do that, or is there a, a wall here? Yeah, I don't think that... Can I get that honey piece? I guess not. I guess it's just up for display, like, you're not actually supposed to get to it. Now here's the back room. And there's a poster of the Deku Tree. Y'all, you'll notice that the music, when you're up next to Brentilda, it will change. And if you're wondering what music that is, oh boy, complete slowdown. Okay, I gotta get up there. From what I know, is that the uh, the music that plays for Brentilda when you talk to her, that's that music is uh, 
I think it's the game over theme for the first Zelda game, Zelda 1, which is just called Legend of Zelda, officially. Like, you know, most of the Zelda games actually happen to have an another uh, name to them, like there's Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Okay, well at least I got the note. And all that... The first Legend of Zelda game was was not called anything like that. It was just Legend of Zelda, because it was it was the first game in the series. It's kind of like how Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, you know, like we have Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts and Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. But the rest of Banjo-Kazooie, or the original Banjo-Kazooie, was just called Banjo-Kazooie. I wonder if there are any other houses we can actually get inside of. Doesn't look like it. Is there any way to get it on top of the entry door right there? I see a Mumbo token. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Break down the webbing here. And there's the first note door of the game. We need to get 50 musical notes in order to leave Kakiri Forest. And I don't think that I have enough right now. There's the last of the Jinjos. Now you may have to excuse me when sometimes I will know some things about this uh, game and sometimes I won't. I did actually watch through like some playthroughs of Jiggies of Time. Like I've watched through the videos that Mark had uploaded onto his YouTube channel about all the levels. But I haven't watched. Well, I did. I have watched a lot of videos about the game, like some more often than others. So, so even though I have seen a little bit of the game, I don't know it all that well. All right, now to break open this. Yep, and as you can see, there is. The great Deku Tree himself. Yep, he's actually in this game. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't talk for a while because I wanted you guys to actually read through that, as well as get my voice arrested. Yeah, Mark Kirko actually had done some custom talk head icons. 
which I find to be really great. Just goes to show how far Banjo Kazooie ROM hacking has gone in the past couple of years. Yeah, there's this pizza box that says Kakariko Pizza. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just now remembering a, a hint from Brentilda. Although first, I want to go back here to see what there is. Oh, that cheeky is not spinning. I wonder why. Well, we may as well go and collect it. Oh, sorry. It was a fake Jiggy. A Miggy! Yeah, that's why I'm calling those enemies. The fake Jiggies. I call them Miggies. Yeah, the whole reason for that, the whole reason why I'm calling them Miggies, is because, you know, we had the Jinjos and the Minjos. Another Easter egg, by the way. Not too familiar with the original Mario Bros. game, but some people will recognize it. Just as we have had uh, the Jinjos and the Minjos, now we have the Jiggies and also the Miggies. Yeah, that's literally the name that I'm giving to the fake Jiggy enemies. The Miggies. You know, because Jinjos are the real thing, Minjos are the imposter. We have the real Jiggies. And we have the fake Miggies. Okay, let me reset. Need to be a bit higher. Oh, look at this! We found the Deku Tree's ear! Are you the pizza delivery guys? Ah, uh, yeah, totally. Pay up. Let's see, you can have whatever's in the attic. I haven't been able to climb up there that ladder in years anyway. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, you'll notice that Nabnut is just a big mess. He gets a lot of pizza, he plays a lot of video games, like... Yeah, he's... He, on the table here, he is playing... I think Rare Replay, which is basically a, uh... From what I know, it is 30 games from Rareware, or something, for like only $30. Although I don't have an Xbox One, it does make me wonder if it would be worth getting uh, an Xbox One and getting Rare Replay, because... Well, first off, I already have some of the games that Rare Replay has. Like, it has Banjo-Kazooie, it has Banjo-Tooie, it has... It has Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, I think. It has Conker's Bad Fur Day. Although, why they would put a mature-rated game on the same disc as E-rated games is anyone's guess. Yeah, Nabnut has just been snacking out. Word of advice, Nabnut, why don't you just eat this food during the weekend, but eat more healthfully uh, during the week. Alright, I'm real sorry about that. Uh, the OBS said something about some sort of o overload again, and I just did not want to take any chances, so I went and restarted OBS, and I had to go through that sort of issue with the screen again, which I thought was a permanent fix, but apparently not. But anyway, now I am back, and hopefully there won't be any more interruptions like that. So now that that is out of the way, let's go inside the Great Deku Tree, which we could still do that, by the way. Obviously, because he has his mouth open. Now, I think that originally this was meant to be a level on its own, but for the finalized game, it's made to be, you know, just part of the Kikiri Forest. 
Which, it does make sense. Oh, that's right. I don't have the ability to do the Beak Buster just yet. Maybe we'll learn that ability inside the tree. And as you can see, the big Klucka enemies from Banjo-Kazooie, they've been turned into Deku Bubbas by the looks of it. Okay, then anyway, I think that I had mentioned earlier on that there was another reason for why I didn't play this ROM hack immediately upon it getting released. Besides the fact that I needed to... I had a bit of trouble getting it set up, you know, with all of those issues, but... But, you know, over time, Mark Kirko was able to, uh add on some improvements, so it pretty much was beneficial to me in that regard. Alright, but anyway, another reason for why I didn't play this game, this ROM hack, initially, is because I was working on a movie. And it was a movie that crosses over Uchu Sentai Q Ranger with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I began work on that movie in June of last year, and I was able to finish the movie, and I released it earlier on in uh, February. Uh, it's currently February right now, but it might actually be March by the time this video comes up, which is very likely, given what other videos I'm working on right now. <laughs> For a minute there, I, 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 the audio seemed to have stopped, but it's back now. Oh, I'm trying to get back onto this, because I'm pretty sure that I didn't get everything that I could have gotten. Okay, let me look around here to see if there's anything else, and I don't see anything. But yeah, I was working on... Legend of Q Ranger Adaptation of Time, it was a stop-motion movie that I did. It took me quite a long time, it took me about eight months to get it done. And I am also hoping that that movie will get quite a lot of views. At the time that I'm recording this episode, that movie has only gotten about... 470 views right now, although I do plan on making some mini-movies that also in line with that feature-length movie for every 500 views that movie gets. But if the movie reaches 10,000 views or receives 100 likes, then I may do a movie similar to that one, but with Majora's Mask. Kind of already have an idea for what I could put into that movie. The Majora's Mask one, but I'll, uh, I won't reveal so much of that at this time because I don't want to spoil or give off too many spoilers. Alright, so we got seven Jiggies so far in the game and in the level. Okay, come on. Oh, I see. Can I still talk? Oh, I can still talk. I thought maybe I would need to uh, destroy that whip crack. But I can still talk to bottles, so that's good. I guess. Mark, where was I supposed to do this? Yeah, Vals calls her Nest Girl, just as Kazooie gives off so many insults. And we've learned all the moves for the moment. Oh, I thought there would be notes in there. You'll, you'll notice that they are much smaller than normal. And I think that that was done so that they would not be as easy to get without doing the ground pound, or the beat buster first. <laughs> I, I kind of am used to saying ground pound because... You know, it's very similar. I'm gonna try to get that empty honey piece. Hopefully I don't die! Okay, good. It only cost me one unit of health. Which I can easily recover, because I've been killing a lot of these enemies. Whee! 
So anyway, Legend of Q Ranger Adaptation of Time. I'll I'll give kind of a few uh, a little bit of detail about that movie, but I won't give off too many spoilers for it for those of you who haven't seen it. Uh, it is a movie where the Q Rangers are basically in the story of Ocarina of Time. And the whole story is that they are trying to beat the View Soldiers to getting a Power Ranger adaptation. And yes, I am aware that the View Soldiers did get a Power Ranger adaptation. Power Rangers Dino Fury, which actually began airing very recently before I began this Let's Play. And I have not watched any of the episodes of it yet because I really want to wait until Q Ranger actually is adapted. And I despise any of those rumors that say that it won't get adapted. I despise them a lot, so... Okay, I only have 93 notes so far. Okay, but anyway, they just try to beat the Mew Soldiers to the Sacred Realm, and, you know, they... They use the QLED to determine the what rangers go into each dungeon. Oh, I could go this way. Oh, yeah, I was trying to get on top of this house earlier, but I couldn't. Oh, there's a cheeky. Oh, well, I finally found a note. Oh, yeah, I got that note earlier when I started the game, but of course then I went into the Lost Woods, which resets the notes. So, yeah, and there was a door that opened up in the Lost Woods, but... I don't want to go in there until I've gotten all the notes, because if I go in there without getting all the notes, I'm going to have to recollect them. Oh, this was just a jiggy. Okay, so we're... We're nine-tenths of the way there. Wait, did I already look behind this house? I don't see anything back here. Oh! Oh, I just now saw. Okay, here they are. Is this all of the remaining notes? Okay, 97. 98. 99. That's all but one of the notes! So where's the last one? Well, guys, after looking for a little while, I finally found the last note. It was right outside the Deku Tree the whole time. I stopped recording because I didn't want to bother recording so much footage that I would basically just have to edit out. And while I was searching for that musical note, I did actually find a couple of things, like in that area where you would normally find the boulder, Nocrine of Time, as you go get the Kikiri Sword, there was a hidden uh, shock pad uh, that lets you spring up to get uh, an empty honey piece. When I saw that in, uh, well, I, I figured that there would be a hidden shock pad hidden around there, but I was expecting to find a note, not an empty honeycomb piece, but, you know, I got the empty honeycomb piece, regardless. And I also found a couple of mumbo tokens I didn't see before. Oh, wait. There is also that last uh, jiggy. And you're not gonna believe where this last jiggy is. Yeah, believe it or not, it's actually through the Lost Woods. This was why I wanted to get all of the notes before going through here. Yeah, I really don't get why Mark Kirko decided to make this actually be a separate level. But anyway, this is where the Jiggy is. And there we go. And as you can see, the notes and the Jinjos have been reset, just as they do before. <laughs> that golden treasure was for me. Now harder still, the game will be. I think there are a couple extra things right here. Yep, there were a couple extra things. That, that pretty much does it for Kikiri Forest. I am really excited to be playing this game now. Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple days break, although I may actually record the next episode by the time you're watching this, but I have a couple of other things that I have planned. 
Uh, so, at the start of the next episode, we are gonna go through the very first note door. All the way over there. I was thinking of doing it at the end of this episode, but I think I'll save it for the next episode. So, again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, by the way, uh, in case you've seen the, uh, the pause screen, you'll notice that uh, to these head icon was replaced with a head icon of Zelda. That's pretty great! Okay, and also I wanted to show you what happens when you save and quit the game. Yep. That's what happens. Oh, and you know what? I think that I will actually just show what happens uh, anytime you uh, stop playing the game. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Grunty was flying by. Yeah, there's this sort of opening cutscene that plays. Well, actually, it doesn't play during the opening. It only plays when you uh, save and quit the game. Yeah, you pretty much have already seen this on YouTube uh, before watching this Let's Play. But I thought that I would show it off anyway, just to get my thoughts about it. Yeah, it's the it's the same opening as the original Banjo-Kazooie, but with new music and new back... Yeah, you'll see Dingpot is just sitting there like he's a king. And there's, there's a sleeping uh, work cauldron in the background. Yeah, it's just amazing how Mumbo has so many musical instruments like that, and Banjo just keep, tries to get rid of them, but he isn't able to, because Mumbo always has another one up his sleeve. Although, for some reason, I any times that I've seen this opening, you know, it's always kind of out of sync. At least around 2D scene. Well, it here? Oh, it still was, kind of. You know, because... Because, you know, 2D goes... But... She didn't appear in enough time. Okay, well, that's going to be the official end for episode 2 of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Jiggies of Time. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey there, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos from me, click on any of the video links that show up on the screen. And also, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and if you can, share this video on all your social media if you can. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.